When the pandemic started, I was actually working in West London. And then I was using a bus, a tube, and another bus. And on occasions, I was having to use a train as well. Coming in all the way from Essex into central London, if there's any cuts to the trains, I won't be able to get in to do my job as a key worker. If there's any disruption, um, it would cause a lot of problems. We, as a pharmacy, have to open on time. We're not even allowed to open a minute late. Without us opening, patients wouldn't be able to get their medication and it would cause a lot of issues. During the pandemic, I couldn't have done without them. My nearest tube station got closed down. So if one for the buses, I wouldn't have been able to get to the next one three miles away without walking for an hour or so. So two hours of walking every day just wouldn't have happened. I live out in Greenwich and work in Queensway near Paddington. Uh, I rely on the DLR and the central line to get to work. So any change to either of them uh, well, it would stop me getting to class on time and teaching. My daughter is 16. She's an amputee and she's often in a manual wheelchair when she comes to London. Using the bus service is the only safe way to get around. Cuts to the bus service may mean that she has to wait in the wind and the rain and that would be a very unacceptable situation. As a blind person, using buses, is, they're really important to me. It's really important that the services are regular and if we cut services, the buses are going to be more crowded. It's a really important way for me to maintain my independence because without public transport I can't get out and about and work and visit my friends and socialise.